The music just feels so good. You, 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 you're on the number one. www.radio.com <laughs> 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 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you ready? Welcome back to the Echo Chamber. I am super excited about this interview. Um, this is one of the first interviews that I'm going to be doing with a producer. Uh, her name is Mathetria. And uh, she's on the phone with us right now, Mathetria. How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Happy to have you on the phone with us. Um, if you're ready, I'm ready to just dive right in. Is yeah. that cool? All right. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Um, all right. So first of all, let, let's get the let's get the elephant out of the room, <laughs> Mathetria. Uh, what does that mean, and what made you choose that name? Okay. Um... So, um, Methatria is, uh, a Koine Greek for, um, like, female disciple or, like, female pupil. <laughs> and, like, you know, that's, that's meaningful to me, like, um, you know, like, a- as a Christian, but also as, uh, like, as an artist, mm-hmm. um, you know, I, I want to always, like, keep the attitude that, you know, I'm, I'm always learning and, like opening new things and learning new things and yeah just like you know like staying teachable because you know you're you're always gonna be growing and learning as an artist so yeah, definitely always staying the student yeah exactly nice 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 now your 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 real name is awesome too uh, <laughs> but I, I i do like the teacher I, I, that's very it's very very nice. uh yeah. you, was that like was that something that you came up with on your own did you like talk to some people around you? Was it like a group decision or just like, <laughs> this is my name, I'll go with it? Uh, you know, it's just something that, um, you know, I was looking for an artist name and uh, I don't know, it just kind of like resonated with me. So, all right, yeah. All right. <laughs> um, all right. So, first of all, I, I, I follow you uh, on TikTok and I, I do edit one of your TikToks and it's the song. <laughs> that you're you're singing on yeah <laughs> so what made you with a voice <laughs> with a voice like that what <laughs> what made you focus more on beat producing um I don't know like I I just I just really enjoy like making instrumental tracks right and um like you know someday I will like release um like a song like a full song with me singing but um Something that, like, I really like doing is I like just adding just, like, plain vocals, like, with, with just me, like, uh, doing, like, vocal runs or whatever, like, right, right. on my instrumental tracks. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I just I just gravitate more towards, like, instrumental music, so. Okay. Do you, do you have any, any, like, formal training? Is this kind of self-taught? Uh, like... Singing or or producing? Producing. Well, well, both actually, both. If you have, you know. <laughs> um, well, I I did receive some uh, vocal training uh, when I was a teenager, um, and like as far as like music production, um, you know, I I uh, I didn't start like getting like super serious about it until like three or four years ago and um so like you know I I was self-taught at first and um you know just like with uh YouTube tutorials and stuff right 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 um yeah but um but early last year you know um I really wanted to um you know like up my game and you know fully commit myself to it so um I enrolled in an online music institute. It's like a a six month program, and nice. um, and yeah, like I was taught a lot. Um, like, um, by my mentor Lucas Abend. He's a um like a a multi genre artist and uh producer based in L A. Nice. And he goes by the artist name Snugs. 
so <laughs> and um and also my my academic facilitator um Bennett Papier he goes by the name Benoit um and he's a DJ and house producer from New Jersey and oh, nice. um yeah so like they're both like amazing talented uh producers and yeah they were like both like super encouraging to me and like basically taught me everything there is to know about um music production and yeah like I, I grew in leaps and bounds because of them and um yeah I so like it's kind of like a mix of both I'm both self-taught right. and formally trained so. gotcha gotcha and and your stuff is like really really like melodic mm-hmm. and I mean you could it's, I, I don't know it kind of like puts me in a little bit of a trance like it's yeah. just so smooth <laughs> and like I don't know. I kind of get lost in it. Like <laughs> you, usually when I think of somebody that produces beats, like I think they do it for other artists or they do it um, in the, with the end game of like selling it to another artist when it comes to your, like the, the, the beats that you produce, cause you, you release them and they're, they're, you know, they're under Matitria, they're under you. Mm-hmm. Are they for you to just have to, to show off? Are these, are these, tracks available to other artists if they want to use them um do, is that part of the mindset to create something so that somebody else can purchase or um i guess it's like more for just uh just as as my own i guess brand if that makes sense like right. just you know for me as an artist um i mean i i am like open to like um letting other people you know, like, um, I guess, like, add their own, like, vocals to it and stuff, you know, like, I'm, I'm definitely open to that. Right. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, when it comes to creating, and I, I want to call them masterpieces, because there's just so (laughs) much that goes into it. And somebody who, who is a fan of just music itself, and what goes into it, and the harmonies, and the melodies, and the beat counts and and just everything that goes into a song like something like what you produce is just masterpiece it's not like a it's not just like a regular bass you know uh, and a hi-hat over here and uh you know uh, you know three notes on a piano and that's the beat like (laughs) it's the whole world of what you do there um do you wait for inspiration to hit like I don't know, you're, you're, you're on a bus or you're driving in your car and you see something or you hear something. Do you wait for inspiration to hit you so that you write something or do you sit down and you're like, all right, I'm going to write something right now. Let's think of something. Yeah. Um, honestly, I, I kind of do both. Um, you know, like most of the time, you know, I'll get an idea like, you know, late at night before bed or like, you know, taking a shower or like, you know, listening to a playlist and stuff. And I'll like, I'll drop everything and, uh, and just try to manifest that idea. (laughs) Um, but also like, I I try to make sure to keep like a stream of tracks going, you know? Um, but also I I try not to force it either. Like, cause like if, if I hit like a creative rut, um, I do try to take time like a way to like refresh myself and, you know, like (laughs) let new ideas flow in. But, um, but I do think it's important to like keep creating, you know, at the same time, (laughs) like, (laughs) um, like, you know, my, my mentor basically taught me like make bad music until you make good music. Um, That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. (laughs) Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's important to like find, that balance between like not forcing it, but also not le- like allowing yourself to get lazy, you know? Right. What, so. what do you, in your case, what do you do when you hit that rut? Like, what do you do to help get your mind off of that to kind of help like refresh and reset your, your whole, your mind, your creativity? Um, well, I, I try to like, um, like stop obsessively like listening to my own music. <laughs> okay. That <also. laughs> Because, like, you know, I I kind of, like, I listen to it over, you know, just, like, always trying to find ways to, like, what I can add to it or take away from it or, um, 
because like you know I think you know I have a tendency to kind of lose perspective when it, I'm just listening to my own music or just right. working on my own music mm -hmm. um so I yeah I just I try to listen to other people's music um I try to listen to like music that I wouldn't normally listen to okay. and you know try to find uh like inspiration from there and um yeah I mean even just like going for a walk or you know just kind of resetting myself and gotcha gotcha get get yourself out of that environment yeah okay just right. get out of the studio and mm -hmm. get some fresh air gotcha <laughs> I understand <laughs> Uh, all right, so we're, we're going to play a little bit of a game here. Um, so as of right now, you have three songs, and uh, we'll talk about Love You, because that comes out tomorrow, brand new track. Mm -hmm. um, so what I want you to do is I'm going to name one of your songs. Okay. I want you <laughs> to, in one word, give me, like, what the vibe is of the song. Yeah. What food you'd pair that with to eat while <laughs> listening to that track. Okay. All right. This All right. First time we're doing the food thing, so I think it's kind of kind of cool. So uh, <laughs> okay. I said the vibe and then uh, what you eat with that beat. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, all right. So let, let's start it off. Let's go with, um, uh, as of right now, your latest track, Sunset. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, it's like a, a chill, like lo-fi vibe. Okay. And I don't know, I guess like when, I don't know, personally when I made it, I just kind of like envision <laughs> kind of like a, a, the balcony of like a restaurant overlooking a sunset. Okay. And, like, I don't know, I guess maybe like Italian food or something. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. A little pizza. Okay. <laughs> maybe pizza. Yeah. All right. That's good. I like to see what we're working. We're working. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, Overlook. Overlook. Um, I don't know. Overlook has kind of like a like a late night drive vibe, like you know what I mean. Like okay. So I I think like I don't know like fast food from like a the drive through of like a burger joint or something. Oh, all right, all right. Burger and fries. I like it. Maybe a, a soft drink. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then uh, mercy me. Um. I don't know. I think like uh, fruit salad. <laughs> fruit salad. Okay. What was that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I guess like sitting on like a sitting near the pool or something. Okay. All right. There we go. A little fruit salad. It's cool. It's cold on a hot day. You're by the pool. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Um, <laughs> all right. And then. Uh, we're gonna go ahead into into love you, and we'll go about in the details of that. But uh, let's let's add love you to the mix, which comes out tomorrow. Brand new track, uh, <laughs> vibe, and what to eat with the beat. Hmm. I think love you is kind of like. I think it, I feel like it's kind of like one of those uh, beats that you listen to when you're like going on a walk by yourself and i don't know i food um i don't know i guess like a i don't know pb and j all right something <laughs> you know like uh, going a little portable i like it yeah like you know i don't know walking to a park and just you know having P pb and j PB and J. Hey, look, there's nothing wrong with PB and J. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Go ahead. All right. I like it. I like it. Um, uh, all right. Awesome. Uh, listen, we did it. That was the first time we've ever done uh, uh, Eat with the Beat. All right. I like it. Um, so let, let's talk about Love You, which comes out tomorrow, January 27th. Um, mm -hmm. So what can you tell people about this track? Okay. Um. So, Love You is, like, um, basically, like, the first Wave beat that I've made. Like, Wave is, like, a it's, it's like a, a branch of, like, electronic bass music. Okay. 
And I guess you could, like, I guess some people call it, like, Dark Trap or, like, Eurobase. Um, but yeah, um, that was, like, the first um, time that I've ever made a wave beat. And um, it's, it's like, this atmospheric, like, emotional kind of icy beat. Okay. And, um, Ooh, yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> uh, and, yeah, like, I, I can't wait for people to, to hear the full version of it. Okay. Uh, it is, um, obviously you produced it. Um, is this something that you've like wanted to do for a while? Uh, is this something that you were just like, you know what? I'll just, I'll just do an icy beat. <laughs> um, you know, it's funny. I was, uh, I don't know. I, uh, one day I was just like scrolling through YouTube and, um, like I found this YouTube channel that just had like a bunch of wave music and I was just like super inspired by it. Right. And I was like, you know, I just I just want to make an album out of it. <laughs> like, I like I would love to make my own like wave beat. So nice. Yeah. Well, listen, it's nice when you could just uh, kind of just do it on the fly. You, do you have a studio yeah. at home? Yeah, I have like a a home studio. I'm currently waiting to um, get into like an actual studio, like right. my own studio. It's okay. Yeah. What what do you uh, what do you produce your tracks off of? I I, th I thought I saw Ableton, right? Is that what you're using? Yeah, Ableton Live Eleven. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I I say that like I I'm all like cool and hip. I have no <laughs> idea. I just like, <laughs> that's all everybody talks about. I saw it in the video, so you know I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. so if somebody if somebody were to reach out to you, mm -hmm. hey Mathetria, I love your stuff. Your stuff is crazy. Uh. <laughs> and they wanted you to produce something for them, mm. what would that process look like for you? Um, hmm. I guess, like, I, I would... I guess the first thing I would do is, like, I would ask them, like, I guess what vibe or, like, genre they're going for. Right. Like, because, like, you know, my goal is to be, like, to be able to work across, like, um, different genres and like a wide variety of styles and stuff mm -hmm. so i think you know i would like establish you know what what that artist is like looking to convey and like you know what what feelings i guess uh, that they want to provoke in the listener right. and i guess go from there okay all right. So. all right um let's go over your social media let our audience know how they can find and follow you uh, and I, I'm, I want them to find and follow you. So let them know how they can do that. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So I think, so I'm on TikTok, YouTube and Facebook, and that's all under Mythatria. Um, and, uh, I have Twitter and Instagram. Um, and that's under Mythatria music and that's M A T H E T E T. I'm sorry. <laughs> M A T H E T R I A. Gotcha. <laughs> Music. All right. All right. Yeah. All, right. All right. All right. So now they know how to find and follow you. And yeah. as always, I tell everybody go to iTunes. Subscriptions are nice. Likes and follows are nice. You know, uh, streams are nice. But buying the music helps pay bills. So go ahead and buy the tracks off of iTunes. You know, don't don't be that guy that just listens on YouTube. That's not cool. Um, <laughs> so, what are you looking to accomplish in twenty twenty two? Um. Well, definitely. Um, I'm gonna be like working on releasing my album. Um, and, and so you know, I'm gonna try to release a track a month until like the end of the year. Okay. And um, you know, maybe like release some other stuff that um. You know, I haven't uh, released yet. <laughs> gotcha. um, and maybe like, I don't know, maybe like open to like some collaborations and um, yeah, j just like continue to grow as an artist and, you know, you know try to like right. establish more of an audience. Do you have, um, do you have a date or a time you're looking to drop the album? Um, so I'm. I'm releasing like uh basically each track as as like a single. Right. Um every month and I guess like 
at at the end of the year as a as a collective album like you know what i mean <laughs> right okay so look, we're looking at november december something like that where yeah the actual album like if somebody is not purchasing the track every single month they could buy the whole album as a you know gotcha right, right yeah like that i like that um all right so uh we're gonna get into our, our last question here and um again thank you so much for your time um what's one piece of advice that you would give someone looking to go into beat producing um practice like crazy and experiment like crazy okay <laughs> um yeah i mean like you know something that again that my mentor um taught me is that like just just existing in like your digital audio workstation you know is gonna make you better you know as time goes on right and um yeah like don't give up if you don't understand something or if you don't feel like you're growing fast enough. Um, Cause like, I know that for me personally, I, I used to get frustrated that I wasn't like growing fast enough, but um, like, I, I remember uh, like reading this quote that kind of stuck with me and it's like something like, um, you know, the process is slow, but quitting won't speed it up. So um, oh, yeah, that's... like, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, like don't don't give up. Keep going. Um, you know, keep finding sources of of inspiration and like, you know, try to absorb as much knowledge as you can. And um, yeah, you'll honestly you'll grow so much faster than than you think if you really like dedicate yourself to it. Gotcha. And yeah, like have fun with it. <laughs> Okay. And and on top of all that, come up with a really dope name. Like we can, <laughs> right? We gotta have a good name, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, <that's> true. <laughs> can't be Bob or Karen as it's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, awesome. Well, listen, I'm gonna stop talking. I want you to so we're gonna do something different for the first time ever. Okay, <laughs> besides speaking with a uh, a, a, a beat creator. Um, yeah. your song comes out tomorrow, but you're allowing us to play it today. So I'm going to stop talking. I want you to introduce the track that is coming out tomorrow. The stage <laughs> is all yours. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, this is my song, Love You. Um, you know, I hope it's something that, you know, you can chill to and like maybe provide like a, a peaceful escape. And, um, yeah, like, I, I hope you enjoy it. And, you know, if you're interested in my music, um, make sure to follow my, sh my socials. And, um, yeah, I've got a lot more coming, so.